A candidate who previously was told he wasn't qualified to serve as sheriff is back on the ballot in Monroe County. Randy White won in 2014, but a judge removed him from office. That election led to federal indictments for vote buying. Well, now White is back and running against the current sheriff. He says he got the all clear to hold the office. His opponent tells 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan he believes otherwise. On the road to Madisonville, signs stump for candidates both fresh and familiar. But in the sheriff's race, past history may block the view. I still have a lot of questions about what happened in 2014. Eight years ago, voters elected Randy White sheriff. But he only wore the badge about a month before a judge ruled him ineligible to serve. A state commission found he had not worked in law enforcement long enough to meet the qualifications for sheriff. The county appointed Tommy Jones in his place. It's a very unusual time. As the turmoil unfolded, federal investigators moved in. They indicted two people, Brian Wormy Hodge and Betty Best, who later both pleaded guilty to buying votes for White at a cost of $20 a ballot. I, I, I didn't know anything about anybody buying votes or, or any votes being bought. Now White is running again against Jones, who remains in office today. I feel like we've done a uh, really good job in this position. Jones insisted White still is not qualified to serve. But in February, the state commission ruled he could. Yes, I'm good to go. Though the sheriff says he still doesn't think so. But at the same time, their decision is their decision. A sign the controversy is not over. It's up to the voters to make a decision. There is no opposition candidate in the general election, so whoever wins in May will take over operations here at the Justice Center. The Election Commission says 2,000 people have already voted. Back to you.